Hello everyone, this is Laura with Intuitive Dreams. Happy Easter to everyone that celebrates it. And this is just a time of expanse and joy. So who we have to work with this week is Archangel Michael. And we're going to get some messages from Jesus. And if you've been watching, I recently did an art piece about Jesus. And when I connected with this energy and I just tuned in, he said to me, that he helps everybody of all belief systems and that he's above like the fight of light and dark. He's in a place of tranquility and peace. And one thing that I got is our overall theme for this, the cards that Michael picked have to do with success and abundance and allowing that in. So let's first start with our prayer, then I'll get into um, the affirmation, theme of the week and then beginning middle and end okay so our theme color that we have is scarlet red and it says attract success so Michael wants us to focus on this color red so we're just taking a deep breath bringing in our guardian angels the light of the Christ consciousness in Jesus and Jesus is firmly saying, I'm not here to convert anybody to anything. I am here to just bring love and joy. So just take it for what it is. <laughs> and then we're bringing in Archangel Michael and they're placing us in a scarlet red light shield. And Michael and Jesus are programming this with abundance, love, joy, confidence, success. So we're going to do a little bit of an exercise. Just close your eyes, focus on, think about red, and imagine walking forward into the better portion of your life. Each step forward, you're going into a new area. You're discovering things about yourself. You're letting go of negativity, letting go of judgment, and just being neutral. The angels have been saying in people to people in readings a lot lately, when you're neutral, miracles happen. When you're in a state of judgment or your energy is too high or too low, sometimes that can prevent things from happening. Okay? So we work with our angels, guides, spirit guides, and anybody else you would like to connect with. We're inviting them in to program this light with strength, abundance, success the energy of confidence and courage. So just close your eyes or breathing that in now. I'm receiving, I'm receiving, I'm bringing in this energy, confidence, courage, abundance, standing in my truth, speaking up for what I believe and not playing small, okay? So now they said they're anchoring this energy in for the week. So feel free to connect with that energy, Michael, Jesus, your angels and guides, and any of any other beings that you usually work with and we're asking them to infuse the rest of our week with this light thank you everyone now we're going to go into the affirmation and this is what michael picked is we have thank you archangel michael for educating me on my role in working with the angelic realm I am open to your divine direction at night in my dreams. Um, one thing that I get about this is the angels, I always like to say they're neutral. And when I first started connecting with them, I had went through lots of different belief systems. I was when, you know, I was raised Catholic, then I went into Bap, you know, Baptist and Buddhism and then all these other areas. And then I got to a point where I just gave up on life and didn't believe in anything. I was just doing whatever I wanted to do. And then the angels were appearing in my home. And at that time when I didn't believe in anything, I had the good, the bad, and the ugly in my home on my front doorstep. So it was like I had a choice. Where do I want to go? What did I want to do with my life? So Michael is saying, and Jesus, that a lot of people have that choice right now. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to be? Who do you want to involve yourself with? And the angels, the reason why this card came out is because Michael said that the angels are 
the highest form and that they are very, they said neutral, that they help everybody and everything. So I always include them with everything. So Michael's saying, it's time for people to decide where do you want your path to go? Where do you want to be three months from now? Where do you want to be six months from now? And who do you want to be working with? Okay, so now let's get to our themes. Uh, Michael said to pull a self-care card. And for this one, it's keep your word. I feel like this does have to do with things you set out to do for yourself, your own self-care. You know, sometimes we can put stuff on the back burner because we're helping clients or we're doing other stuff. Your self-care comes first and then everybody else second because then you are able to give more to others. And again, the angels always say, we're here to help people, but not at the expense of our own health, safety, and sanity. <laughs> our inner child has always been sensitive to the promise broken, a desire di disregarded and a hope lost. It is paramount that we show consistency with ourselves and do what we say we will do, particularly when it involves our inner child. So this could be our inner child, our adult child. You know, pick which one kind of resonates with you right now. Start with something easy and practice consistency by keeping your word today. And one thing that, you know, um, lots of people often try to do is too many things. Okay, Laurie said this, I got this list of all this different stuff I'm gonna do. Take your time, pick one thing. What's one thing I could do today that's a promise to myself? Or this is something from um, Teal Swan, I love her. What would someone who loves themselves do? Okay, so you take that, ask yourself that when you're making decisions, when you're going places, what would someone who loves themselves do? And you will get some brutally honest Question. So I feel like this whole week is like a check-in with yourself. I'm just going to do what feels right for me. Okay. So now our theme that we're getting into the energy for the week, Ace of Earth. Okay. I'm just going to put the card up and I'm using Angel Messages Tarot. And I'll just tell you guys, I love to use all different types of decks. I just go with whatever fits for me, but this is what Michael picked. Ace of Earth, abundance, opportunity, and resources. So what I see is education, learning, taking classes. This may be somebody getting back to the, the beginning, okay? I'm going back into my inner child. This symbolizes money, abundance, edu money, and abundance and success sometimes involve learning or going to the next step. Maybe working with a coach or going back to actual school or doing spiritual stuff. What I get is that this is a week of growth for you. You may be stretched to, you know, they're showing me something like taffy, how it gets pulled. You may be stretched to capacity this week. But take your time, ground yourself, and practice what the angels have told you about self-care. Now, for the beginning of the week, we have the card Strength. Courage, compassion, and perseverance. And I do feel like Archangel Ariel is coming through and saying she wants to help people too. She's really good helping people that if you're learning animal communication, you're learning to connect with animals or nature or different things like that. Um, she's also for abundance and success. What I get is take a leap of faith, step into your power. No one and nothing can harm you. You have to believe that. No one and nothing can harm me. I'm standing in my light and my truth, and I'm moving forward. And then we have, for the middle of the week, we have the Ace of Fire and Opportunity, Creativity, and Action. So what I'm getting is things may happen for you. You may end up getting new, meeting new people, going new places, Involving yourself in things that you wouldn't have otherwise done. They said again, think of yourself like Taffy. Stretch yourself. Do things you wouldn't normally do. Get outside of your comfort zone. So creativity, action. So this, what I get is moving forward, taking charge. Again, they're bringing up and they're showing me that no matter what you do, you're divinely guided and protected. And then for the end of the week, we have the world 
and it is accomplishment, celebration, and completion. So what I feel like there that, um, you know, usually during any type of holiday, no matter if it's something that's religious or not, or from a different belief system, it always packs a punch, has downloads, and it's like whatever you believe, you're getting downloads of information from that belief system on those holidays. And sometimes people can tell they're getting downloads, they're, the pressure in their ear changes, their ears ring or they ring louder, or some other types of things happen. Allow these changes to occur because they're trying to help everyone. They said the earth needs our help, people need our help, we're going to send millions of angels out to the earth to help it, to help us to be aware of the resources that we need to do to help it. And then um, they are saying about sending blessings to different things that are happening around the world, that there's way more going on than what we know or that than what's reported on TV. Okay, so... The, again, sending millions of angels to everything, everyone, and everywhere. Okay, so I think that's everything for the week. And let's take care of ourselves, be grounded, go with the flow, take charge of your spiritual energy, your power. Where do I want to be? Where do I want to end up? Those are the questions to ask yourself. Take care, everyone.